everybody. I am in a special spot today. A spot that I really love. Where I won't exactly name, but it's a good one. And I'm walking out. I've got two rods with me. I've got my little micro Daiwa rod, 5.6. And then I've got my Dobbins rod. All right, guys. So I'm here and I've got my little teeny bass pro shops bait wrap here and that has all my micro stuff in it i like to just stick as many micro things in there as i possibly can i love these little bait wraps they're awesome for just like sticking this thing in your pocket and not getting hooked and still being able to bring all this stuff with you if you're traveling these are amazing just fill a bunch of these screw tackle boxes fill these stick these in your suitcase and send it. Then I just picked up these ones. These are from G-Crack, WimbaitPlus.com. Uh, this one's Woodland Camo, and then this one's Black Camo. And I got this here, G-Crack. This is the Gilling Neo 160 size, and this is a digital bass pattern. And uh, this other one, I just stuck my uh, Tiny Clash in bone that I added the detail to. I think that's a good color match. That purplish pink color with that belly and like I think the dark blue and everything. I think that overall just paired well with that particular bait. These are cool. You could stick two baits in there if you really wanted to because it could be like open like that. So these are cool. Like they're really meant for big swim baits. These are not like this where it's got the Velcro on the sides. Totally different product. Um, definitely something to check out if you can even find these. I don't know if I got these before they sold out. If I got lucky, I'm not sure. I just kind of bought them on a whim. G crack. All right, so I am out here fishing my brand new G crack, Gilling Neo. I just went in the water. Well, I slipped off the back over there, but I could not lose this one. My whole foot went in the water, like it soaked. I'll show you in a second. Woo! That was awesome. Little dink on my brand new Gilling Neo 160 from G Crack. Just got it in the mail today. That fish was hungry. Let's get him back in the water. I'll show you how soaked my foot was. Or is. <laughs> wow. Well, Alright. I'm not gonna stop fishing though because I'm out here, so. Woo! That was awesome. I needed that fish, dude. I don't even care that it was so for that fish, I cast it out and I know there's like a slope here. So what I did was I worked it on the slope like fast retrieve to get like to the depth that I wanted it. And then I came to a dead stop and then it got smashed. This thing's crazy. It's got all sorts of funky looking weights inside of it. Little ball lead weights. Pretty cool design from G Crack. Is that a microchip that's listening to me? Is that a camera? All right, just want to say, awesome bait. I would love to add a couple in different colors to the collection now that I caught a couple fish on it. Really like the way it swims. Not a crazy price point, it was 50 bucks. Um, it comes with a tail that looks as if it could be replaceable. Um, and I'm sure that you can find them if you look or add a tail, get creative. This is fishing.
a nice large eagle. Yes! 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 Ah! Oh. Yes, dude. This is what you want to be throwing in the fall for bass. On the light rod, too. He's easily a two pounder. All right, guys, just about time for me to send it out of here. I have to get home and John is making dinner tonight. We are having a roasted chicken. Should be pretty delicious. 